Patrick Claiborne, March 17, 1828 to November 30, 1864, was an Irish and later American soldier best known for his services in the Confederate States Army during the American Civil War, where he rose to the rank of Major General. Claiborne served in the 41st Regiment of Foot, a Welsh regiment in the British Army, after failing to gain entry into college in 1846. He immigrated to the United States three years later. At the beginning of the Civil War, Claiborne sided with the Confederate States. He progressed from being a private soldier in the local militia to a division commander. Claiborne participated in many successful military campaigns, especially the Battle of Stone River and the Battle of Missionary Ridge. He also was present at the Battle of Shiloh. His strategic ability gained him the nickname Stonewall of the West. He was killed in 1864 at the Battle of Franklin. When the issue of secession reached a crisis, Claiborne sided with the southern states. His choice was not due to any love of slavery, which he claimed not to care about, but out of the affection of the southern people who had adopted him as one of their own. As the crisis mounted, Claiborne joined a local militia company as a private soldier. He was soon elected captain. He led a company to seize a U.S. arsenal in Little Rock in January of 1861. When Arkansas left the Union, he became part of the 1st Arkansas Infantry, later designated the 15th Arkansas, of which he was elected colonel. He was promoted to Brigadier General on March 4, 1862. Claiborne served at the Battle of Shiloh and at a battle in Kentucky where he was wounded in the face when a mini ball pierced his left cheek, smashed several teeth, and exited through his mouth, recovering in time to participate in the Battle of Perryville. After the Army of Tennessee retreated back to Tennessee in late 1862, Claiborne was promoted to division command and served at the Battle of Stone River, where his division advanced three miles as it routed the Union right wing and drove it back to Nashville Pike. In its final line of defense, he was promoted to Major General on December 13. During the campaigns of 1863 in Tennessee, Claiborne and his soldiers fought at the Battle of Chickamauga. They successfully defeated a much larger Union force under Major General William Tecumseh Sherman on the northern end of Missionary Ridge during the Battle of Missionary Ridge. They also defeated Joseph Hooker on the northern end of Georgia, in which Claiborne's men again protected the Army of Tennessee as it retreated into Georgia further. Claiborne and his troops received an official thanks from the Confederate's Congress on their actions during this campaign. Prior to the campaigning season of 1864, Claiborne became engaged, but their marriage was never to be, as Claiborne was killed during an ill-conceived assault, which he opposed, on the Union fortifications at the Battle of Franklin, just south of Nashville, Tennessee. On November 30, 1864, he was last seen advancing on foot towards the Union lines with his sword raised after his horse was shot out from under him. Accounts later said that he was found just inside the federal line and his body was carried back to an aid station. Records indicate he died from a shot in the abdomen or possibly a bullet that went through his heart. When the Confederates found his body, he had been picked clean of any valuable items, including his sword, boots, and pocket watch. The Patrick Claiborne Memorial can be seen at the battlefield of Franklin in Franklin, Tennessee. The Patrick Claiborne Confederate Cemetery is a memorial cemetery in Jonesboro, Georgia that was named in honor of General Patrick Claiborne.